Anyone else ever do this? I always thought uh, when I nuke my pizza pops, they're just a little too um, doughy yet. And I thought I'm gonna try and fry them this time after I nuke them and uh, see how that turns out. Get a little shot of uh, pure olive oil. Get the pan nice and warm. And once they're done uh, nuking, we'll pop the old pizza pops in here. Fry both sides, it should be good. Okay, I got about three and a half minutes on the pierogi. Oh, my bad, not pierogi, pizza pops. But they kind of look like big pierogies. Now, put them in the frying pan. And I'll um, get them tender brown er on both sides and see if that's less doughy. Either way, I think it's going to be very tasty. Very tasty indeed. Let that cook for a bit. Now I think it's time for the flip over. Oh yeah, look at that. Toasty brown. Toasty brown indeed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, a little bit much. It's all right. A few more minutes on this side to be ready for the taste test. Throw a little hot sauce on a couple. Kind of like the hot sauce, but not too much, right? See, <laughs> they're good, nice and toasted. Whoa! Oh yeah, they're good. Whoa, almost dropped that one. <laughs> okay, sit down and try it out. Okay, looks good. Got a couple with a little hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And I got a little ketchup. Ketchup on pizza pop, why not? Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And try this one with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Mmm. Yeah. Not so good with barbecue sauce. And maybe a pizza straight up with nothing except pizza pop itself. Mmm. Good. It's actually best, I think, by itself. Very good. See you next time on Cooking with Steve.